Hello everyone, Rurikan here coming at you with another First Impressions video and today we're going to be taking a look at Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. This title was sent to me by Nintendo Portugal so that I could give it a look and tell you guys my opinions on it. Now I've already did a shorter version of this video, a more review type version if you will, for TGN. So there's going to be a link for that in the description box below if you guys want to check out a shorter, more condensed version of what I'm going to be talking about here because I will be focusing a lot on gameplay and what the game is about and just like a longer format video as I tend to do my first impressions videos, so to speak. So anyways, if you guys just want the shorter version, it's in the description box or you can find that in my TGN playlist at the homepage of my channel. But anyways, let's focus on what the game is about. For those of you who aren't aware of uh, what Super Smash Bros. is about, I mean, most people should be aware, but I feel that a lot of people kind of bought into the Wii U thing uh, after their E3 presentation. So if you're one of those people who doesn't know what this game is about, I'm going to start from scratch. And essentially, this is a crossover fighter that includes quite a few of Nintendo's characters, as you can see here, Super Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Yoshi, Rosalina and Pluma, Bowser Jr., Donkey Kong, etc., etc. But beyond that, it also has characters that are not from Nintendo. So you got you got Shulk here, who is from Xenoblade Chronicles. You have Pac-Man from Namco. You have Mega Man from Capcom and Sonic from Sega etc etc so what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be picking up uh, Mario we're gonna be going to a training session just so that I can uh, show you guys the basics of how to play Super Smash Brothers because the thing about Super Smash Brothers is that when you know how to play um, when you know the controls for one character you essentially know the controls for every character and then the only thing you really have to master is how to um, which character do you like the most, uh, which character has the move set that you prefer, and whatnot, because the controls will essentially be the same. So here we have Mario against uh, the Wii Fit Trainer. You move around with the left stick. If you just uh, gently move the left stick, you will move faster or slower. If you flick it, you will go into a dash. And um, Essentially, you can also jump, obviously, by pressing up. There's also a button to jump, and not all characters jump by pressing up, I don't think, but uh, Super Mario definitely does. Uh, X is the button for jumping, A is the button for attacking. Now, attacking has the particularity of when you attack facing the sides, you will uh, do a different attack than if you attack by not pressing your um, left stick in any direction. Also, if you press it downwards, you get a different attack. If you press it upwards, you get a different attack as well. Now, beyond performing these basic attacks, you can also grapple your enemies. Get your ass over there. Thank you very much. Now, grappling your enemies is done by pressing any of the triggers. So you can grapple them and then you can headbutt them or you can throw them if you so desire by flicking the stick in any direction. So I can throw her up in the air, or I can grab her, I can throw her down, or I can grab her and I can throw her back. Which with Mario, damn, that's one hell of a throw. My me can't throw that far. Anyways, come here. Get your ass over there. There we go. Okay, so those are your basic attacks and grabs. Now beyond grabs, you can also do uh, blocks. Uh, this is obviously for blocking your enemy's attacks, but as you can see it does dwindle and it takes a while to recharge back to its full size So that someone is just not sitting in a corner like I'm blocking can't touch me now So yeah, eventually the shield will break and you will get hit So that is the blocking mechanic and then you also have your specials now the specials are done by pressing B and there you go. Mario's special is throwing a fireball, but the specials also have the same mechanic as the regular attacks, which is if you press right or left, you will get different specials. So if I press right, I'm going to do this. Actually, right or left, you get the same specials because it's the side special. And Mario's side special is this little towel thing, and this will reflect back projectiles and whatnot. It also smacks the, the enemies a little bit, but not too much. Uh, then you have the down projectile, which in case of Mario is this thing that shoots a couple of water. I, I'm not sure what that's supposed to do, to be honest. I'm not very good at playing Mario. And then you have the upward special, which is almost like a sure you can. But uh, yeah, these are your special attacks. And then beyond special attacks, you have your smash attacks. But before we get into smash attacks, let me actually tell you what smash attacks do. Now first, you get over here. Wow, that was a long throw. Okay. You get back here because I need you to be my... I need you to be my assistant. Come on, move over there. Why you gotta be so hard with me, we fit trainer? Come on. Move it, move it, move it! That's it. There we go. Okay, we're good now. 
But as I was saying, uh, before we get into smash attacks, let me tell you about the concept of damage in this title. Now, you, as you can see, there's no health pool bars anywhere. There's just a percentage at the bottom of the screen. And what that is, is a percentage of damage that has been inflicted. And after a while, uh, after you've received a certain amount of damage, your character will start getting thrown more uh, further and further away each time you get hit. So the ultimate objective is to drive characters off of the screen. So that's where smash attacks come in. If you flick your uh, right stick, you will notice this is using the classic controller, by the way. I know that a lot of people use the N64 controller or actually not N64, the GameCube controller or whatever, but I just have a classic controller. I don't have the GameCube controller. And to be honest, I am not a big fan of the GameCube controller to begin with. So there you go. There's that. But um, in order to do smash attacks, all you got to do is flick your right stick in the direction that you want to perform a smash attack. So if I want to do a smash attack up, this is what it would be. Down, this is what it would be. Forward, that is what it would be. And when you perform a smash attack and someone has, let's say, 141% damage received, what's going to happen is they're going to be flying straight off screen. Peace out. And that is a point for you, so to speak. So that's kind of how the game's mechanics work. You beat someone up. After you beat them up enough, uh, you get to throw them off screen. Uh, this also works with your special attacks. Now, the reason you're seeing me struggle a little bit there is because I actually don't use the default controls. I just have this set up like that so that I can show you guys the default basics. But we will be going with my uh, custom controls on the next match so that I can show you guys stuff. What you doing? Get your ass in there. You trying to slack on me? You guys will notice that she's starting to go further and further away the more we hit her. So, there you go. You just start beating her up. A little bit more and further she goes and off the screen. So that is the basics of the game. And every character works like this. Now, obviously, different characters will have different moves which you might enjoy more or less than, um, than other characters. So essentially, you still have the whole thing of having your own favorite character with your very sp with your favorite specials and creating your own combos and whatnot, but the basis of the game is always going to be the same. So we're going to go into Smash Mode, which is the basic uh, mode for Super Smash Brothers, and this is a four-player uh, free-for-all, because this game is a lot about multiplayer. As a matter of fact, this game really shines when you're playing multiplayer, and it is not a game that uh, I feel people will play in single-player mode by themselves uh, for a long time. So for this particular matchup, we're going to be using my me character, uh, because this is a character that I've created, I will show you guys how that particular mechanic works in just a couple of seconds. We're going to be putting uh, CPUs of level 6. We're going to put three of them start, and we're going to go to a random stage. Another thing really cool about this game is that a lot of the stages are very dynamic, so there's stuff happening all the time that you got to pay attention to. I'm not exactly sure if Smashville is one of those stages or not. I haven't really... I don't think I've played Smashville, now that I think about it. But okay. Here we go, let's start beating up people. Oh, I forgot to change my controls. Damn, that sucks. It's fine, I'm sure we'll survive. I'm gonna have to use the default controls here. But yeah, obviously I'm gonna try to beat them up. This is gonna be a free-for-all. There's gonna be items falling down. As you pick up these items, stuff will happen like there. This guy summoned that dude, which I don't even know exactly what he does. Ooh, damn it! He grabbed me and he's dealing a ton of damage. That's what he does. That is terrible. Why would you do something like this to me? Wow, and me again. Why would he just keep selecting me, the bastard? He just doesn't like me's, that's what's up. Come here. Oh, what's this? I don't know, but it seems like fun. Oh, what the hell did I do? Oh, that's pretty cool. It's hitting everyone except me. That's right, keep going, son. It's the power of the sun, praise it! Praise the sun! Look at that sun. <laughs> okay, let's get out of this platform. And let's be... Come on. Come here, Link. Oop, what the hell? I'm trying to land the smash attack on someone. No! We got thrown off screen. But yeah, it's always um, as chaotic as this. And as a matter of fact, it can get more chaotic because the game now supports up to eight players in the same console, which is pretty damn awesome. And by the way, even though it is playing with um, four characters at 1080p and all that stuff, it is still maintaining solid 60 FPS which is something I really appreciate. And I just got my special ultimate, which I do want to perform because I never performed it with my me. Holy crap! Take that beating, goddammit. Take it. Take that beating, you bastards. Get the hell out of here. Oh, man, that was a lot of fun. I had never seen that attack, to be completely honest. So that was the 
is it Super Smash? I'm not sure if that attack is called the Super Smash or the, or the Ultra Smash or whatever the hell. But essentially, that is a uh, special attack that you get when you pick up that particular item. As you can see, there's a bunch of items falling down into the arena as we are fighting. And those will be a part of the fight whether you like to or not. Obviously, I won there because I got the Ultra Smash and just smashed the crap out of people. But, here's the thing. Uh, the items thing, according to what I'm told at least from people who play a lot more Smash than myself... The items thing is actually not something that people who are super hardcore about Super Smash Brothers enjoy. So there's actually a, a, a mode that you can do, which, uh, let's actually select my control scheme, please. Thank you very much. And, uh, should I take my me again? Yeah, I'll take my me, that's fine. Just to give you guys an example. But, there's something that you can do here, which is if you press the X button, you get this Omega symbol, which essentially uh, means this is the For Glory mode, which means there's no items and apparently there's only flat stages, I believe. So let's try this mode out. So it looks like we got the Final Destination. And essentially, this mode is for the really hardcore people. So these are the people who don't want those uh, the randomness of the items and whatnot. This is the way that they tend to play. Okay, so let's get started here, see what I can do. Pull off a couple of my specials. Come here. Come here, Pikachu. Oh, I love beating the crap out of Pikachu. You guys know that I'm not a Pokemon fan, right? So I just... Beating Pikachu is just... I would say a guilty pleasure, but I don't even feel guilty about it. I just like beating him up. Take that, Pikachu. And that. Now, you guys will see me spam my specials a lot because I made my character super fast. Which means I can just beat the crap out of stuff super fast. Oh, crap. The I thought there weren't any items in this mode. What the hell? I think Hengist has lied to me. Hengist told me there would be no items in this mode. Okay, let's... Keep on beating the crap out of people. Whoa, 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 careful there. You do not want to fall down because that also counts as a ring out, which is obviously the ultimate objective of things. What the hell is this? Never mind. I should not run into spike things because that is bad. Let's go ahead and beat the crap out of... Oh, no! Oh, you just... Yoshi just ate me and pooped me out. That was disgusting. I'm sorry, Yoshi. You don't, you don't get to walk away from... Whoa! And then he used a baseball bat to beat the crap out of me. Okay, that's fair enough. Come on. Get someone. <clears throat> Trying to land some combos here. Have a smash. No! No! We've fallen down again. Man, we are not doing good this battle. Clearly not as good as last time. Get your ass out of here. Get out of here. What the hell is this? No, no, no. Give, give it to me. Damn it. I want to push people into that thing. Oh, sweet. What's, what's the fire flower do? Oh, you can put a flamethrower. Take that. Take that. All of you. But yeah, this is the very basis of Super Smash Brothers. Oh, looks like I was actually the winner still. Goddamn right I was the winner like a beast. So obviously you guys can tell that uh, the hat that I'm wearing is supposed to be the Hat of Souls. For those of you who have seen stuff on my channel, uh, you guys know what the Hat of Souls is all about. So yeah, I tried recreating myself with the Hat of Souls. But anyway, let's exit Smash mode, because the thing about Super Smash Brothers is that it is a party game. Now, there's also 8-player Smash, which is the same thing that you've seen there, but with 8 players. It runs fine, also 1080p, 60fps. It might dip every now and then in 8-player mode, but only if there's a lot of stuff happening on screen. And even if it dips, I have, I personally haven't noticed it. I just heard from other people that it dips if you go into that mode. Uh, there's also Special Smash, which allows you to completely customize uh, what you want to do. Like, you can have 300% stamina, you can have a uh, bigger size, or you can have a smaller size. You can have a flower on your head or a bunny ears on your head. You can have metal, tail, clear, rocket belt, whatever the hell these things do. You can have curry, reflex status. You can have light gravity, heavy gravity. Uh, you can be faster, slower, and you can change camera angles. So, but we're not going to be changing anything of that. I'm actually going to show you some other modes. So there's the Smash Tour mode. Now, this is something that I am not a big fan of. This is kind of like a Mario Party mode. Now, I'm not going to tell you what Mario Party is about. Because, I mean, that's like a, a whole nother game. But essentially, it's you play Super Smash Brothers as if it was a board game. And whenever you encounter other characters, there's a Smash fight, essentially. So, let's move out of that. Because I'm not a big fan of Smash Tour. I can't show you online yet, because online is not active 
for Europe yet, which is where I'm at, in case you guys don't know. Uh, then there's the Vault. Now, the Vault keeps track of all the challenges that you've completed and whatnot, and then there's a bunch of modes that you can do both solo and group. Now, these are essentially the same, so if you go to solo or group, except that in solo you can also do special orders. Now, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the classic mode, because this is kind of like, uh, you know, how uh, most fighters have a story mode almost. This is the story mode version of... Um, actually, it's not. It's not at all. It's just a mode where you fight a bunch of people, and after you're done fighting a bunch of people, um, you you fight the Master Hand at the end of it. And the Master Hand is an opponent that I'm actually not a big fan of. Now, this is a mechanic in the game that I actually find very interesting. Now, I'm not I'm clearly not good enough to be doing these kinds of things, betting a bunch of gold and whatnot. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to bet any gold because I am not going to uh, finish this mode because that would take me a while, and I just want to show you guys what this mode is about. But uh, the whole thing about gambling is essentially you can spend some of your hard-earned gold and you can get bigger rewards if you don't die. But the more you die, the more gold you start losing. And um, obviously it's a gamble, essentially. But it is a risk-reward um, a risk reward mechanic that I really do support. I like when games put these kinds of risk-rewards mechanics in. But anyways, we're going to be going with uh, Intensity 2 just to show you guys what this mode is about. So this is the classic mode, and... You're essentially dropped in here, and as you can see, there's a bunch of groupings of people here. And you can go anywhere you want, but you're going to be fighting all the characters that are there. So if I go here, I'm going to be fighting against all of these characters. Now, this actually seems like it's going to be an 8-player smash. And you're going to get a reward. I'm not exactly sure what the wrench signifies, but whatever. That's what we're going to get if we win. And we're going to be fighting in the Sonic level. Now, I'm I'm fighting as Sonic. It's going to be fairly... It's usually fairly hard to um, understand. Oh, crap. And I'm not even using my own controls. I made a mistake, but that's fine. Uh, it's usually fairly hard to understand uh, what's happening on screen, particularly if you're not the one playing. But all you got to do is locate the player one um, symbol there if you're trying to find out which one I am. And I'm going to beat the crap out of all these guys. Come on. Because I'm Sonic. And Sonic is a beast. Sonic is actually a pretty decent character, in my opinion. Whoa! What the hell? No! Oh, I still managed to survive. I don't know how I did that. But that was pretty cool. That's right, Pikachu. Take a beating from Sonic! You too, Falco, whatever the hell your name is. Come here. Oh, it's only you left, Pikachu. You ready for this? Pika Pika? Pika Pika Pika? Come on! How much damage does he got? He's got 55. Okay. Pika, Pika. Pika, punch you in the face and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just love beating the crap out of Pikachu. So it looks like we actually got a special move for Sonic. Now, this is actually pretty good because it allows me to show you how that particular mechanic works. So we've defeated these people. And then in round two, you would have to keep going. And eventually, at the end of doing uh, not all of these, because after you clear some more of these, uh, different ones will appear. But uh, when you are about to finish this mode, you will have to fight Master Hand at the end of it. Uh, Master Hand is actually a fight that I'm not a big fan of, if I'm to be completely honest. But anyways, as you guys noticed, we unlocked something there. So that allows us to go into custom. And we can actually customize all of the characters uh, to be different. So like, for instance, let's say we want to customize Sonic because we unlocked uh, we unlocked one of, a, an ability for him. So what we did there is we selected a, um, a slot for our Sonic character, and now we can change his equipment. And changing his equipment essentially means we can put in agility badges, which are going to decrease his attack and increase his speed, or we can put protection badges, which increases defense and decreases speed, and there's a bunch of badges like that that we uh, unlock as we play through the game. So like, for instance, we have these lightweight shoes, which will increase our speed and decrease our, our damage uh, considerably. And then we can go into specials, and these actually control the special attacks that Sonic can perform. So this is your standard special, which is homing attack. Then you have the side special, which is spin dash. And you have your up special, which is spring jump. And down special, which is spin charge. But we did pick up a new one, which was auto spin charge. So we can use that instead. A spin charge that can be powered up simply by holding the button. So let's go with auto spin charge, just out of curiosity. And then you can test out the build that you've done for your custom character. Now, obviously, we only changed something very, very basic. 
But anyways, this is what we gotten. We changed this. No, it wasn't this attack. Wait, it was this one. <laughs> so this was the attack that we've gotten. Then you release it, and you beat the crap out of someone. That's actually a lot of fun. Take that, you beast. I, I kind of like playing with Sonic, I have to be honest. Sonic is a lot of fun, and Smash, at least that's my opinion. He might not be very good or whatever, but I, I still don't know a whole lot about that. I still have to play, I am yet to play multiplayer, so that's that's a thing. So let's go ahead and go back. Uh, something else that I wanted to show you while I'm in the creation screen, I'm going to exit out of this, and no, I'm not gonna save my changes. And I wanna go ahead and show you that beyond customizing, you can customize every character in this roster, but beyond that, there's something else that you can do, which is you can create your own Me Fighters. So as you guys can see, I have a couple of Me Fighters here. They're not particularly uh, good because I don't have any decent items yet. But let's say we create a new one, and let's say we create a new one from Guest B over here. And you can create either a Brawler, which is the, the, the Me Fighter that I use. You can create a Sword Fighter or a Gunner. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're going to create a Sword Fighter. And I am going to name him, let's put a shift in here, and I am going to name him Rui Smash, for no particular reason. Oops, messed up. I should really be using the D-pad so that I don't mess up as much, there we go. Rui Smash, and then hit OK. <clears throat> You created Brewery Smash, and then you can select Equipment. Now let's say I want to make this guy be a beast and just deal as much damage as possible. Actually, what's this? Speedy Shield Recharge Protection Badge. No, I don't care about that. Oh wow, I actually just have a ton of agility items. Well, at least for, for this dude, but I guess we can use, let's say, a Brawn Badge. So we want uh, Speed and Damage, and then we put an Agility Badge. Now we put the well-worn boots in there as well, because why the hell not? Actually, this agility badge is slightly better. Even the stylish boots. Let's just go stylish boots. No, wait. Stylish boots is going to remove too much attack, and I don't want it to remove attack. So instead, uh, everything removes attack, though. I wanted something that removed defense. Damn it! That's fine. We'll just use, uh, we'll just use this one. Beast mode. Just beast mode this thing. It'll be super fast. And then you can go ahead into a specials. You can select from a bunch of specials like we got Tornado Strike, Shuriken of Light, and Blade Flurry. Let's say we do Blade Flurry. Uh, this is for your standard special. Then for the side special, we can do Airborne Assault, Surging Slash, and Shake Room. We're going to do Surging Slash, then Up Special. We have Back in the Stone, a Flurry of Sword Slash that takes you some distance in the direction of your choice, and the Hero's Spin. Let's take the Super Slash Dash. And then we would do Power Thrust, Blade Counter, and Reflect Spin. Let's do Power Thrust. And there, we've created ourselves a character. Now we can even customize it further by uh, equipping different uh, pieces of gear that we unlock as we play through the game. So right now I have the Wild, we Wild West hat, which is the same thing that I use in my character. We also have Ninja's headband, Peach's crown, Cat's ears, Straw hat. This guy, I think, would do well with the Straw hat, because I don't think I like a lot of the stuff that I see here. So we'll go with the Straw hat. Then you can also change his outfit, he can become a ninja, and he can also have a cybernetic suit, but I think he looks really good as a ninja with a straw hat. I mean, that's just beast, isn't it? Come on, guys. It's beast. Can you change the color, though? I'm not sure if you can change the color. That's fine. This will do for now. Uh, so, we can hit OK and it'll be ready to go. We can test it out just to see what the moves are like. So, let's test it out real fast. So, this is our side slash. Uh, this is our regular slash. That's actually pretty good. Look at that. That's real sweet. This is actually pretty good as well. And let's see this one. Okay. And you can actually control which direction it goes into. It can even go forward if you want to. Oh, this is a really good special right there. Uh, and then you also have your smash attacks, which are fairly standard. But yeah, we've created this character. Now we can go back. After we go back, we can just uh, say, okay, you created Rui Smash, he's done. And now you can go play him on any mode that you choose. Like, the mode that we were playing just now, the um, the classic mode or whatever it was, you can use your me in that mode. But uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use it in all-star mode. I can't even remember what all-star mode's all about, but I'm, I'm trying to show you guys as many modes as I possibly can before I finish this video. So let's go ahead and use Rui Smash on this mode. Go to start. Now, all-star mode, 
I, again, I can't remember exactly what All-Star mode is about, but I think it just matches you up with uh, a bunch of CPUs and off you go to beat the crap out of people. And I used the wrong control scheme as usual. I tend to do that quite a bit, actually. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually quit here. And I'm going to restart. Sorry, guys, I just, I just need to have my own control scheme. It bothers me so much. I just can't play the regular control scheme for some reason. It's just, I mean, it's ingrained in my mind so much that B should be for jumping that I can't use X for jumping. It just breaks my head. Okay, let's get this done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get slashed. Get slashed, son. Whoops. I might have pushed it a little, too, a little bit too much there. <laughs> and I died. <laughs> so in all-star mode, as soon as you die, it's over. Uh, also, as you play through the game, eventually characters will come to challenge you. It's just, I'm not very good at playing this character, which is why I couldn't, um, I couldn't take him too further on. But I'll try, I'll give you more, one more try in all-star mode. Come on. I can't be that bad. I'm just not used to this particular me. I guess Bruy Smash is not a very good character, maybe? There we go. Now we're talking. You get away from here. Oh, I like this. I like this special. This special is pretty good. I just like fast specials. I'm sorry. I don't know what's the deal. Come here. Come here, CPU. And have a smash. Peace out, peeps. <laughs> Anybody else want some of this? Looks like they do. You get the hell away. No, 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 no. None of that. None of that. Get out of here. That is not cool at all. With a special to the face. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Who wants this? Good job. Attacking off the wrong side, because why the hell not? I don't like your little star thing. It annoys me, okay? Get rid of it. Where are you going? Oops, that was the wrong direction. This was not, however. <laughs> gotcha. She was just jumping around so much. Look at her. She's still going. Get out of here. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Get, get out of here. <laughs> and this is also going to give you gold and additional stuff that you unlock. Like, for instance, we unlock this trophy over here. You always unlock a trophy when you play this mode. I don't know what this bottle is for, though. Let's go up here and go into the next round. And then you just keep going round after round after round. I don't know how many rounds All-Star is. I think it might just be two, actually. I know that All-Star is pretty fast. I like this sword thing. I haven't played the sword characters all that much. Essentially, the sword characters seem to me like they're inspired by Link. The gunner characters are more inspired by Samus. And the brawler characters are a bit more inspired by Mario, I want to say. But then again, there's a lot of brawler characters in this game, so... I don't know exactly where they got their inspiration for that. Ooh, what a beast! What a beast of an attack there. Is he still gonna come back? No, I don't want that. I don't want you to come back. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> you too, Link! And you too! And you! And you! Friggin' villager, come here. Beat the crap out of every single one of you, come on. I love this attack, this attack's so good. I tend to spam the same attack, that's probably a bad thing. Ooh, get grabbed there. What the hell? She made a tree appear. She's planting trees and shit. No, stop it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The map is changing. Or not. Yes, it is. Oh, we're now in the middle of lava. Well, not really middle of lava, but you guys can see lava beneath us. Oops. You get the hell away from here. And you too. What a beast. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Stage two clear. Wow, there's another one.
I thought this would be like two stages, but anyways, I'm gonna get out of this mode here. Uh, how do you exit? Oh, I can't actually... Oh, yes, I can. Yes, end the game there. Uh, there's a bunch of more modes. There's these minigame modes that you can do as well. Uh, let me tell you guys about the special orders modes. So special orders are essentially uh, modes where you can go to get uh, specific rewards. Uh, oops, I actually didn't mean to start this. But the Master Orders modes is one of those modes where you have to kind of gamble a little bit. So if you go into Master Orders, you might get some tickets which you can then use in Crazy Orders. And as you use these different tickets that you've gotten in that mode, you, will, you can either enter this mode by using those tickets or you can spend some gold to enter this mode. And this mode has a lot of rewards that you can get, but you also have to fight Master Hand at the end. So... There's a bit of risk and reward. Your damage is not going to be reset between matches. So that's something that you want to take into consideration. This is really for the hardcore people, I kind of feel. Uh, let's see what else we've got. We also got the stadium modes. Yes, yeah, so let's look at a couple of stadium modes. Let's do target blast. Target blast is fun. Uh, let's do... I haven't done stage 3 yet, so whatever. Let's do stage 3. So target blast mode is essentially... Who should we take? Just to take a different character every now and then. Let's take Sheik. Although things might not work out, because you really need to know the moveset of your character uh, in this particular mode. At least in my opinion. Um, so essentially this mode is about you beating the crap out of this thing. That is going to increase the damage that you are dealing on it, as you can see. And then you can launch it when it's about to explode. So, like so. That was pitiful. So let's try that again, shall we? Come on, give it, give it a little... Oops, damn it, no! Kick it! Okay. Yeah, about that. <laughs> this actually requires a bit more practice, and I haven't been practicing all that much. Come on. Damn it. Throw the thing, throw it! There we go. That was a lot better now, wasn't it? Still not that great, but you get two shots at this, I think. It's annoying because the ball keeps moving when you go by it. There we go. Throw it, throw it, throw it! That was terrible. That was pretty bad, but yeah. This is, um, this is this mode. There's another mode, which is the home run mode. There's a bunch of minigames that you can do at the stadium, as well as multi-smash mode and whatnot. But beyond that, I wanted to show you guys event mode. Now, event mode is as close as you're going to get to a story mode in um, Super Smash Bros. Because they actually select the characters for you, and each of these matches will have a certain theme to it. So, for instance, we have this one. The time has come to avenge my parents. Woe betide all who stand in my way. And you're going to be playing as Samus, and you have to clear within 80 seconds of normal difficulty or higher. Okay. I wonder who she's fighting against. Oh, she's fighting against uh, Dark Samus there. And you've got a little bit of a map hazard as well. I, also, I don't know how to play Samus to save my life. And I've got the wrong control scheme. That's fine. Oh crap, no. Not the boss. I don't want that. Thank you. You attack the CPU now. Take that. Take that. Dark Samus, go away! Oh wow, I beat it. I, I beat it. I beat the crap out of it. Oh, this one. This one's actually an HP fight, so he's got 25 hit points, and I'm supposed to break all of that. Oh, dude, you just gotta go. Sorry. Let's actually grab him. Okay, grabbing is not working all that much. At least not as much as I would like. There you go. Take that. So this is event mode in one of the uh, themed fights. Oh, we still have to kill the boss? Oh, I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't even sure. I didn't even know that you could kill this guy. That's right. Take a goddamn beating. Take it. Take it. Take a missile to the ass. That's right. Take it. Oh, I don't think he's happy about that. I don't think he's happy about that at all, but I don't care. Look at him trying to get me. Trying to get me from below. Oh crap, what the hell are these things? Die, you fiend! Oh crap, he's beating me senseless. 
Again, like I said, I do not know <laughs> all that much about playing Samus. I barely played her. Ooh. There we go. No. <laughs> there we go, as in if I won. But I did lose. But yeah, this is one of the uh, event modes. There's plenty more, like I have another one over here called Dual Identities. You have Princess Punch-Up, you have Demon King and the Goddess, you have the big 70, 7650. There's a bunch of different modes that you can uh, play and you can keep unlocking things as you go along. So as you can see, there's a ton of modes for uh, Super Smash Brothers. But again, the game really shines when you are playing with friends. There's also Stage Builder, which I haven't shown you. And to be honest, I haven't really played it, but it allows you to make basic stages if you want to. Uh, and there's also the amiibo feature, which if you have amiibos, you can have them in-game and they open up a whole bunch of other possibilities that you can do in Smash. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it for the game. Uh, I really like it. I had a lot of fun with it and uh, it's a lot more fun if you're playing against other people. So I can't wait until the online mode unlocks in Europe, which is not unlocked at this point. Obviously, the game isn't even out yet, um, at least at the time of recording of this video. Um, but yeah, I like it a lot. 1080p, 60 FPS, good graphics, good animations, good soundtrack, good sound overall. Just a lot of fun. My only complaint is that the controls are kind of wonky in the way that uh, they kind of force you to select your control scheme every time. And in Smash Tour, you actually have to play with the default control scheme, which is very disappointing. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. As per usual, leave me your comments, feedback, all the kinds of good stuff in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.